pretty messed up, that's for sure. This time on Heavy Rescue 401. I don't want to take a chance. B and G. Watch out, guys. Battles gravity. Whoa, whoa. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Collins comeback. Stay in sync. It's a roadblock. Come on. I'm lifting my truck. I consider it pretty dangerous. Let's show that. And double tanker, double danger. This is going to be a hard tournament. We could have a huge environmental disaster in our hands. Highways are starting to get snow covered. And it's supposed to keep snowing. There's going to be a lot of smash. A snowy mess out there. We've got several collisions making things really tricky to get around. A snowy night in Toronto is turning into a busy night for maintenance crews and first responders. Blowing snow, reduced visibility. Snow is accumulating on the highway. The plows and salters have been out, but we just need drivers to really think about their driving behavior and drive according to the conditions. These roads are a lot slicker than they look. I'll advise them to here to see if they have salters and plows. On the 401, just west of Young, plow crews are fighting to keep the highway clear. People don't adjust to the driving conditions. It is crazy. Impatient drivers aren't helping. You gotta be very careful when everybody's in a hurry and they wanna rip past me and we can squash them like a tomato. You can send that transfer. My role is to hold traffic back so that we don't get cars in between the plows. If you see the echelon and you're coming onto the highway, I'm gonna be chasing you down. Oh, I got a car up there. This guy's trying to pass the plows. That guy is so dangerous. So now I have to speed up or ease him over to the left. so close to being hit by a plow. Did you see that guy trying to race me? Yeah, he did. Just trying to keep you guys safe. As the crews push on, they get an urgent warning from east of the city. It's a big deal. And it's a big problem for Bill Wright. We're going to try and get rigged up and get the truck off the wall as quick as we can. You don't go to an accident scene every day and see a truck hanging over a bridge. This is huge. trailer has jackknifed on the West 401, just east of Oshawa. The truck reportedly dangling off the 401, above Curtis Road. I'm gonna back up, just make sure no one stands behind me. With the scene right on his doorstep at the BNG yard, Bill answered the call within minutes. The driver, he actually opened his door to get out and realized that he was actually in midair. Fortunately, he could step out the passenger's door onto the bridge railing and off the bridge. Pretty messed up, that's for sure. See what we gotta do to get it out of here. I guess she shot at the transmission pretty good. There's parts laying everywhere. We're very fortunate we had no motorists coming under the bridge at the time of the accident. We had 50, 60 pound gears all over the road, 25 feet below. Could have been catastrophic. 
Now Bill and crew have to make sure the rest of the tractor doesn't follow the debris down to the road. It's exciting, right? You get to see some stuff you've never seen before. What do you need that? And a big part of that task will fall on Bill's son, Billy, growing into the role of his right-hand man. With Mitch being up north, myself and the old man are, uh, are doing this together. It's a big job, but we can get it done. Can you get up there? Yeah. Tonight will be the biggest job Billy has tackled at his father's side. Oh, take your time, Billy. I got you. Bill Jr. is coming along amazingly well, but when you've got something hanging over a bridge, you're into a whole world of new. You don't see this every day. Just watch your slippery feet with the diesel fuel. Fuel tanks were ripped open, so the fuel was coming out at a high rate of speed. We've got puddled fuel six, eight inches deep in the snow that we're walking in. The diesel fuel complicates things for sure. It's very slippery. If we're not careful here, uh, we could fall off of the bridge. Go right around that frame right there. Yeah. We can't reach part of the truck that we'd really like to rig to here, so our options are limited. The trailer, it's empty, right? Yeah. I'm going to lift straight up. Okay. With the rigging points on the front of the tractor out of reach, Bill has to lift from farther back. We'll try this. But that risks tilting the truck further over the edge. So we want only the front end of this truck to lift. By rigging behind the cab, we're moving back from center of the vehicle and risking having to lift the whole thing. Careful, Gully, get down. Hold on, let me grab your shoulder. Good. Thanks. So they won't commit fully just yet. We'll do a quick test lift and see. We're just not sure with the way it's bent, the way it's sitting, how it's going to handle. Watch yourself. Well, the back's coming off the ground. With the trailer being empty, we just don't have enough weight at the back. Initial test lift was a failure. We've got to get some front lift here. I don't want to take a chance. There's a lot of traffic here. Left and right lanes are breaking. 100 kilometers to the northwest. It's super back down. Traffic up the 400 is slowing to a hard stop. That tanker got railed pretty good. A tanker is on its side, squeezing the northbound highway. Auto route towing is that scene. Wow. What a chill. And Amin Abdurrahman is sizing up a big job and a tough night. This is freaking buried. The B train was heading northbound when a pickup cut it off. The tractor and both its trailers veered into the median, where the rear tanker slammed over in the ditch. It's amazing. There's no leaks. It's not just a truck in the ditch. This tanker is fully loaded with uh, 53,000 liters of fuel. We couldn't take any chances on this job. One little spark and we're done. With a mixed load of diesel and gasoline, the auto route towing crew needs to take every precaution. We're gonna remove the battery just in case something you know goes wrong. All it would take is a uh, positive to arc over and then we got a spark that may have a fire. And fire is only the first danger. It's fully loaded. We could have a huge environmental disaster in our hands. We need professionals to pump it out. And then once it's offloaded, we can uh, do our part of the job. I'm going to pump out of here and into my tanker right there. We're going to get the gas off this unit right now. That's the most volatile. And everybody's going to feel a little bit better after that, right? We're being very cautious. Well, that's open. 
We're good to go here. But pumping out 53,000 liters is a job. Oh, I see his brake legs up ahead of us, man. That will take hours. The hell are we going so slow for? The tanker rolled over in the ditch there. This is not an easy task in any way. It's still hanging off. Handboard. Bill? Yeah. What do you think? Back at Curtis Road. We're gonna have to sneak up through the trailer. Okay, yeah. Bill and Billy have been working hard on a plan B to safely lift the tractor. With the weight and where we are, we're not getting enough lift at the back there, and obviously we can't access the uh, the left side. Ideally, with this sort of lift, you'd want to um, lift by the front of the tractor, but unfortunately for us, that's just not an option right now. I think this rim and that frame will do it. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, if we're not careful here, we could have this truck fall off of the bridge. Okay, go. Where's your glove? So we're going to take our second line and run it out to the front right rim. Okay and that should stop it from teetering forward. I'm good to go? Yeah. Watch out, guys. But even if they can keep the truck from tipping over, there's no guarantee the dislodged cab will hold on. We're trying to get it done to lodge itself from the bridge. We're pulling hard, creaking and groaning. What's stopping that cab from coming up? Probably not much. Yeah, that's what I mean. We don't really want that. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on that. The trailer is still hooked to the truck on the fifth wheel and the kingpin. That's what's keeping it from falling over. But it'll only go so far before it says, OK, I've had enough. We're just not sure what way it's going to swing when we initially leaves the ground. We face the chance of losing this cab down over the side of this bridge. Whoa. Whoa. Trailer tilt. Is it getting better or worse? It's getting worse. On the Curtis Road overpass. I'm off the wall. I know, but you got to go a lot higher to clear that rail. Father and son are fighting to free the tractor. Hold on. Without sending the loose cab plummeting straight onto the road below. Bill, stop. It's a very tense moment. It's moving it right now. This truck will not lift level and straight. We're going to have to come up with another plan. Let's run your wrecker down here, Billy. Want you to bring a high line down onto this corner of this trailer. I'm going to get Junior to bring the 35 ton up get hooked into the left front corner of this trailer. OK, good. Gives me more stability while I'm lifting the front end up off of the wall. In one, out the other, if you can. You've got peace of mind, right? With Bill hooked to the tractor, Billy will anchor the trailer while his father lifts and rotates the truck. Up. It's a delicate dance for two operators new to working as a team. Right there, that's all you need. We've got to pull together. He's got to lift an inch, i got to lift an inch. We don't want to change the angle of what we have. We just want to change the height. Okay, I'm going to come to you real gentle. I hope this works. Set it down? Not quite. It's a bit of a slow process, but it's starting to come to us. Okay, I'm going to go down, down, really. That's awesome. Well, we're not done yet. We're still stuck on the wall here. Beautiful. We'll get the truck and trailer out of the scene here so that the cleanup crew can commence with their cleanup. Back a bit. Hope. 
I'm gonna drag it up the road. Everything went good, actually. It went great. Now that I'm getting a little bit more of the wrecks, definitely fun learning uh, some new skills. Sunshine? Hey, okay. okay. another wreck for the son and the father? Yeah. It's awesome to work with Bill Jr. It's something that's new for us, and every time I get to work with him, I get a whole new understanding of how far along he's actually come in this industry. It's a lot of fun getting to work with the old man and getting to spend time with him. It's good. All debris has been removed. Get it for. kilometers north of the 401. Life in Bancroft's pretty cool. It's a different pace from back home on the 401. Mitch Wright is starting a new day and a whole new life at B&G's northern outpost. Yeah, my dad and Billy have been super busy. You know, I, I definitely miss that, you know, on the side of the highway thing and, you know, all the, the chaos that comes with it. Mitch's new role in the north at Bancroft is going to be to oversee the other drivers, so he's going to be doing all position from management to towing to running the heavy. He still has lots of growing up to do. In fact, the day he was initially set to head north, Mitch put the new job in real jeopardy. We built a big freestyle ramp in the backyard. Get a couple more jumps in before we head off to Bancroft and kind of get it out of my system. My mom and dad have been kind of on me about the racing thing and maybe taking a step back. I just came in way too fast. I overshot the landing and landed flat. My ankle just broke. You sure? Yeah. OK, don't move. I think Mitch was upset with himself for allowing this to happen. The responsibility of taking care of the business and, you know, being that guy that's in charge for it, it's a massive opportunity for me at Bancroft. So it's going to be up to me to, you know, take care of business and make sure things run smooth. I should go to the hospital now. A badly torn tendon delayed Mitch's departure. But a month later, he hit the road. So right now, I'm just on my way up to a pretty secluded kind of part of the area. Today, the new face of BNG North is heading up a remote forest route. The roads are deadly. To help out a local whose truck has run off the road. You got a truck with, and if you let a tire slip off, the only path that there is, and you're stuck too. It's like you can bring a bigger tow truck in here to pull you out like you're on your own. Mitch is only 22 years old. He's got a big roll up there. He's going to go through some learning curves. So deadly. Like, if you go off the road, it's like 80 foot drop into trees. This is so sketchy. What a frustrating day for anybody using the 400s for the morning commute. Back on the 400. Morning traffic is struggling past the tanker scene. A tanker truck has actually rolled over in the median ditch. This situation won't be a quick recovery. It is a mess. The backlog is crazy. A pickup truck traveling along changes lanes right into the front of the uh, tractor trailer. This should not have happened, and as a result, and the driver of the pickup truck, he's the one facing a careless driving charge. And it's just simple. Use your mirrors, be aware of your surroundings, and drive accordingly. We need to get this open as quickly as we can. With the first trailer now empty, Amon will hold it upright. It's up there. So his brother, Yasin, can safely ease it forward. You ready? The job is not easy to begin with. It made it harder with the mud. The faster you can do it, the better for everybody. Let's show that. And some more heavy backup has just arrived. 
Am I good to lift here now? Bubba Simple built his rep at highly respected company, Classic Towing. Unless my truck rolls over, that's the only time I'll stop. Okay. Just keep lowering fast, fast. Fast. After sharing some jobs with Amon and the crew over the years, Bubba made a move last winter. Hey, look at that. Nice job, guys. Nice job. I watched Auto Route get more trucks, and one day a man called me up and asked me if I wanted to come over, and it's grown great. You're a good man. You're a good man. Pretty deep in there, eh? This is going to be a hard tournament. Bubba's wrecker won't be needed until the next phase, but he can already see what they're up against. It's down in the mud hard. It's all marshed, so this one's gonna be tricky to do. Go ahead, Asin. Nice and slow. Wow. Buried in that muck. There's a huge suction. That's a lot of pressure, man. Double the working load limit on the back line here. Coming. Keep going. Gotta give it a little bit more. We're almost there. The upright trailer is clear, but it's the second one that will be more complicated and riskier. On to the next one as soon as they get the fuel pumped out of it. With the tanker on its side, the crew can't just open a valve to pump it dry. I consider it pretty dangerous. They're drilling a hole in her as we speak, man. I wouldn't want their job. There's not enough danger pay in the world for something like that. Any kind of spark, we could be in a whole lot of kaboom here. I wouldn't be up there with a drill, that's for sure. Wow. I wouldn't want their job. There's not enough danger pay in the world for something like that. On Highway 400, south of Barrie, the hazmat crew is carefully breaching the overturned tanker. I consider it pretty dangerous. And as the crew works, the traffic backup is getting more intense. Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, the traffic here. We're almost done here. We're just doing the last compartment there now. With the crew emptying the very last section, the auto route team has to be ready to move. Both a man and myself are gonna hook it up, drag it up, slip it right here in behind our trucks. The pressure's on us to get this cleaned up. With the traffic building, we gotta get this done and out of here quick. Thanks, man! Oh, it! Okay, right there. That's good, Gemma. Boom out a little bit. Bobby, you ready? 10 4. Go a little bit more with your higher line. Go up on the top, 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 top. Lift it up. Yeah, I just gotta catch up with the bottle. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'll let off my lines a little bit so you're not going against me. Yeah. There, Bubba, leave it there. You're good there. We're just gonna mid there, roll it, and Bubba's gonna catch it. Yeah, we're ready. Stand back. Slow there, Bubba. It's a precision move. Bubba will need to take over and ease down the trailer at just the right moment. Amin and I need to stay in sync. If we twist uh, at the wrong times, we can do damage. Oh. Keep going. Hold on, let me catch up with the other. One second, one second. Bob, but down on that low line, man. Down on that low line. I can't see what's happening on a men's side. He can't see what's happening on my side. 
if we snap a strap, you know, it can end up bad. It went good. The equipment's out. No one got hurt. I don't even want to think about the fatigue. I woke up yesterday morning. <laughs> the win win today. We didn't even lose a drop of oil or, or diesel or gas. In my books, that went very well. You guys are awesome. Good job, guys. Good Thank job. you. Appreciate good it. Good job. Perfect. Yep. Thank good you. Job. Thanks, buddy. This was uh, definitely a team effort. I'm very pleased that we didn't have an uh, environmental disaster in our hands. Things could have shifted very quickly to the worst case scenario. I have some great news. That tanker truck that we've been telling you about, it's been removed from the ditch. All lanes have reopened, both north and southbound. I can see the traffic moving. <laughs> so deadly. Back in the woods outside of Bancroft. What? It's hairy. Mitch is still searching and trying to stay on the road. Lots of trees around. Oh, there she is, right there. All right. Mitch's success in Bancroft depends on connecting with the locals. Oh, this is hairy, man. But this driver is long gone. All right, let's get her done. It's a single lane, so there's no room for me to, you know, get beside it and, like, pull on a 45. Uh, I'm gonna run a line from my truck off that tree and then redirect it down to the truck. It's definitely a lot different than working on the 401. You know, we're using nature to get stuff out. When you're pulling on a tree, you gotta be careful. You don't know how strong the tree is, what the roots are like. Sometimes you get yourself out, but you know, the other options, you pull the tree over and you close the road down. All right. Come on, baby. Like that, she's good to go. The truck is free, but now it's blocking Mitch's only exit. Hopefully, the customer gets here because I can't leave until she moves. No service, I can't even call her until we're here. got a truck in the ditch on its side. He does have a lot of weight on, from what I understand. It sounds like it's a pretty good job, actually. 500 kilometers southwest, it's shaping up to be a big day for Colin Vanden Heuvel. This is my first time doing a, another heavy winch out since I had that pin let go. Just recently, a defective tow pin with hidden rust inside turned into a close call. Pins letting go is definitely one of the most dangerous situations. We're in the line of fire. Did it get you? Oh, yeah. It's a scary experience. This is an extremely close call, so we don't want it to happen again. So Colin's father, Gary, has mandated some changes to the crew's rigging system. We had a uh, hook failure on one of the wrecks that we did there. So now what I've come up with, guys, is this. We're gonna go off two pins, and then we put our endless loop in the center, and we're gonna hook our winch line up to this, and if one of them does happen to break, it's gonna be stopped by the second pull pin. It's not gonna come at us. I want this mandatory on anything that we pull on. It's all things to make sure that we're safe and that we go home to our families every night. Today could be the first test for the new system. 
And it will definitely be a test of Colin's determination. I have to get back on the horse here, so to speak, and get back into the recoveries. So I trust that my dad's new design for the rigging is going to work for us. Look at that. Oh, boy. Kyle, he's already out with his 35 ton, but he said we needed the rotator on this one. Morning. I've called Colin and because this is going to be a big ass job and I'm not doing this with just my 35 ton. Holy crap. That's impressive how far you slid like that. This truck is spun right around. It's on its side. We've got a lot of extra challenges. The back is pretty beat up. It's just not going to want to hold together. That's the only problem with that. This is an A-train. See that big oh. bolt that goes through? You're going to roll one, and the other one's going to stay where it is. It's Thanks. not going to come over like a B-train. Yeah. An A-train has an extra set of pivot points in it, which can cause a lot of issues. They're going to come over independent of each other. So that could make your life significantly more difficult. Yep. Up here. There's a truck flipped over up ahead there, fellas. 50 kilometers east of Sarnia on the 402. Nothing better than facing the wrong way on a 400 series highway. Colin is rigging up for his first move and trying to put the recent pin snap behind him. It's going to be a good pull here. All right. I'm not going to soon forget that. But, you know, we still have a job to do, and I have to get back out here eventually. Ain't no rest for the wicked. There's my dad right there. My dad's taking a bit of a step back today. He's not going to be working any of the trucks. All right, got a plan, gents? Yeah. I'm going to let Colin lead this recovery. I'm going to allow him to move past this. So we'll drag this unit sideways right to the center of the ditch there. OK flop it there, and then uh, we can take it up the ramp. Sounds good. Holy crap. So my plan with this one is I want to get it dragged actually down into the ditch. Hey, that one's good. And then that way, it's going to be a lot closer to the road by the time we get it rolled over. OK, I'm going to watch the backside, guys. Kyle will slide the tractor while Colin pulls both trailers. We just have to be really careful as we slide this. Okay, go, Kyle. The truck's driver estimated 5,000 pounds of cargo, all loaded in the first trailer. You getting anything? No. I'm lifting my truck. It's not quite reacting like we expected it to. Keep pulling there, Carl. For only having 5,000 in the front box, it should be sliding a lot easier than this. Come on. Might come quick, guys. Watch it. Yeah. There we go. Now she comes. Nice, guys. OK. okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice and straight. Part one was a success. But the amount of resistance has Gary wondering. I'm just worried about this trailer. I'm not really sure how much weight we really do have in there. When I looked in this trailer, the weights weren't adding up for what I was seeing. I'm not back to five. Come and get me. Best way to find out the exact weights, get the manifest, and then you know what you're dealing with. I'm just going to check our weights and see what we got. Ooh. Yeah, she's up there, boys. Once we opened up the manifest, we started doing the calculations on the weight, and it was way heavier than the estimates. It's going to be right on the limits. My concern is that the load comes out the side. Might be her there. That'd be cool. Back up a remote forest road. 
How are you? Mitch's customer has finally come to his rescue. I already got it out for you. It's all good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's exactly where I went in one time, too. Is that right? Yeah. We've been stuck three times this winter. So far, Mitch seems to be making a good impression on his new neighbors. We really appreciate you coming and coming so fast. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, no problem yeah. at all. I appreciate the uh, call. No problem. Put my number on speed dial. <laughs> yeah. I got yeah. it on speed dial. All right, guys, you have a good day, OK? Thank you so Take much. Care. Key? Give it a shot, maybe? Every time you're making contact with a customer, you really have to make sure you're giving them the experience that they deserve and the service that they deserve. No! No way! She did it again! Do you need a tow truck? I should be good, right? On a remote road outside Bancroft. I think this one's a freebie. Mitch is getting a second shot at making a first impression. Just better you than me, right? <laughs> at least I can I can get you out. You can't get me out. Okay, turn your wheels this way a bit. Right there, perfect. Okay, put it in drive. Wheels to the right. Just come ahead nice and easy. Yeah, perfect. You're out. Cool. Oh, my god. Woo! I can't believe how deep it is in there. We'll get you snowshoes. I'm going to need them. Yeah, you do need them up here. Right? I'm going to leave this stuff out in case we need it again before we get to the end of the road. OK. <laughs> and for the second time today, Mitch has shown he can be the face of B&G. I've seen much two more times than I'd like to this year. <laughs> it's exactly what we need. It's more connections like that. Over time, the community is just really going to know that we're here to plant our roots, and this is a long-term thing, not a short-term thing. I have the utmost confidence in Mitch that he can mature with what B&G requires him to do, and uh, he'll make the business proud. I don't think there'd be a more beautiful place to be out towing. On the rolled over truck from the morning. still So, what do you think, Call? On Highway 402, Colin is rethinking his plan now that he knows the cargo weight is three times the original estimate. I'm thinking maybe we'll switch up the line on the rotator and we'll run it to the front. And then we'll get Kyle's record. We'll run the line from his truck to the back one. It's taking on a different role, obviously, in the company. Right, and then you're going to cross it. Yeah. It's going to give you more support underneath. Yeah. He's learned a lot of things over the years now, and it's nice to see him to step into a leadership role. I like that thought. OK. With the extra weight, there's a good chance that we could split this trailer while operating it. So we're going to do a Christmas wrap, which is going to basket the trailer. With Kyle on the tractor, he and Colin will cross straps to cradle the loaded trailer, while Colin rolls the empty one. OK, it's tight now. Yeah, she's tight. Where do you want me? You stay on the back. Make sure she's not coming apart on us. Yeah. This is a complicated role that Colin has. He has multiple lines to this. OK, we're ready. He's controlling the front trailer that's loaded. Start taking up on your front end there, Kyle. OK, just hang on a sec. He has another operator that's also attached to that. Nice and easy together, guys. Stay in sync. Yeah. And he's also got a separate trailer that is just totally independent from the lead trailer that he has to operate in sync. It's like playing piano. This is a really complicated move. This is an A train. You have just one more extra pivot point, which can cause a lot of issues. Careful. OK, it wants to almost fall over. You're OK here. Front end fell. There we go. Nice. 
And look at that. There you go. Nice job, guys. Nice and soft. Load stayed. That was like textbook work right there. I like that. Getting it standing up was one thing, but now the hard part is to actually physically get it out up onto the road. Like last time, they'll rig to tow pins in the bumper. Just gotta be careful. With the recent pin snap, it's definitely still fresh in my mind. Uh-oh. You gonna be able to get into that pin? We got one here already. Yep, that'll work. The driver already has his pins in place, giving Kyle a head start. I'm gonna be the guinea pig and use this front rigging method that Gary wants us to do. I've practiced it a couple of times on my own, just, you know, on the weekends when nobody's around. Yeah, there's nerves when you're trying something new and different, because you don't know how it's gonna work until you try it. I'm concerned on how it's gonna work. Let's just be really careful. Okay, phase three. Let's take everything up. On the 402, west of Strathroy. I'm ready whenever you are, Kyle. Okay, I'm ready. It's time to put Gary's new rigging plan to the test. Oh, pull. Careful. That front end coming over. You know, it's definitely something that plays with your mind. You know, the pin snapping and flying is not a fun experience. It's definitely something that's going to stay with me. system works. One pin didn't hold, but with a new system in place, the second pin provided an anchor. Not the way I wanted to test it, but this is a huge relief. It didn't come flying back at us. Learning experience for me as well. It did demonstrate that it actually works. What, let go there? I don't think there is a pin in here properly. The tow pin came out, and that was my fault. The tow pin itself is fine. Oh, you didn't have a tow pin in there? I'm wondering. Yeah, you didn't have a pin in there. I never checked. The truck's driver hadn't fully secured the pin in place. There's a pin that actually goes in the back and holds it into the frame rail, and he hadn't uh, checked that, so when he pulled on it, obviously, as soon as any pressure got on it, it popped it right out. I would assume that the locking pin was in. Who puts a tow pin in the truck and doesn't put the lock pin in? I guess this guy. OK, I'm ready whenever you are, Kyle. OK, here we go. Once again, time to shake off the nerves and finish the job. OK. Well, not too much harder on that back. Sliding on you pretty good, Kyle. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm gonna slide this back trailer up a bit. Hey, okay, Kyle, it's yours. Okay, here we go. That's nice, perfect. Okay, you're good. Damn right I'm good. Pick her up and deal with it off the highway. OPP will be happy and everybody should be happy. That is a victory. Colin's actually come a long way. You know, six years ago, he was in a one-ton running that, and now he's leading a recovery in it, and a good one as well. Like, uh, it's, it's fun to see. It's nice to see. It makes me proud. Well, we got her up and out. Now we just got to get her home. After the pin snapped, we all worked together to come up with plans to make sure that this thing came out of the ditch safely. There we go. Going back to work, it's a huge relief. <laughs> it's a great feeling. Holy. We're going to have one hell of a hard time getting 
that out of there. Next time on Heavy Rescue 401. The wall is still on the ground, man. A stubborn load. Come on. Stays put. <sighs> Mangled truck. Whoa, God, stop. Tangled trees. I can't turn the wheel. <sighs> and a twisted jackknife. Come on. Trips up Kevin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. <sighs>